by Stephen Sashin from zeroshoes.com, X-E-R-O shoes.com. Wait, looks like this. And in this video, I'm going to share with you an amazing way that you can strengthen your feet, your ankles, actually also your legs and your hips, as well as improve your balance uh, in just a couple minutes a day. But before I do that, I want to tell you something that I've never shared publicly before that, because of the topic of this video, is relevant for me to talk about now. My father always wore big, thick, padded, motion-controlled shoes, sneakers, uh, and then um, dress shoes that squeezed his toes together and also did not allow natural movement. He didn't wear zero shoes because he, we only had the thong-style sandals and he just didn't like the looks of those. And so he walked with this shuffling gait uh, and um, just didn't have good natural movement in his feet. And I think you know where this story is going. So last year in June of 2015, he tripped and fell and broke his hip and three weeks later he died. Now my father is not unique. This happens to lots of elderly people. And it has been one of the missions that Lane and I've had since the early days of Zero Shoes to help older people regain natural movement and improve their balance so that they can have a healthier, more active life. And this is not something that's just relevant for older people. Balance and strength and power are important at any and every age. Now, happily, in fact, one of the most gratifying things about running Zero Shoes has been when we hear from customers, older customers, who say that, in fact, this is happening for them, that they're running, walking, hiking, pain-free and enjoyably for the first time in years or sometimes ever. Um, I remember we heard from one customer who was looking for uh, these magic vibrating insoles that are supposed to improve your balance if you're older. And I wrote a blog post saying, you don't need the insoles, just take off your shoes and go out and walk on some uneven surfaces. And he read my blog post and put it to the test and said that was two weeks ago and now I'm not using my walker. So um, we just want to have more stories like this. We want to help more people and we're thrilled that so far we've been able to do the work that we have. But there's a lot more to do. Now, when people ask me, what's the best way to strengthen your feet and ankles? Uh, I say, you take off your shoes, uh, go barefoot or in a pair of zero shoes and go for a walk or a run. Running much better for foot strengthening in particular and ankle strengthening in particular uh, because of all the forces that you apply when you run. But what if you're not a runner? Or what if you aren't running yet, but you know, you're kind of building up? Or what if you are a runner, but you want to do something other than running to help. In fact, something that might be more helpful than running because running is kind of just the same thing over and over. Even if you're trail running, you don't get a lot of variation. Uh, but suffice it to say, what if you want to do something that can help more than just running? And that's why we're making this video because I've got two answers for you. The first is something called the AFX Foot Strengthener. And I'm going to make a longer video about this at another time. The AFX is kind of like weightlifting for your feet and ankles and lower legs. Great device. I really, really like it, especially because you get um, uh, like progressive resistance, with, which is really important for strengthening. But I want to talk about something else right now, something that has become sort of the hit of the office. Everyone here is addicted to it, and it is this. This is called the slack block. It doesn't look like much, um, and it's actually pretty simple. It's really lightweight, and it's easy for, uh, for perfect for travel. But before I tell you how it works and show you how it works, let's have a chat about balance and strength. So your foot and ankle and well actually your entire body is in a feedback loop with your brain. So your foot is sending sensory signals back about things that you're stepping on or in and proprioceptive signals about where your joints are in relation to uh, other joints and in space. Sorry, I had to adjust the video. And these signals go up to your brain and your brain then takes that information and is able to send signals back down to your body about how to function appropriately. Now, if you've been in, actually, you know, some of those signals don't even go to your brain. They just go straight to your spinal cord and right back down in a reflex loop. Be that as it may. Um, and it's still just as relevant, actually. If you've been wearing big, thick, padded, motion-controlled shoes, or any shoe that uh, doesn't let your foot move naturally or feel naturally, this can dampen or attenuate that feedback loop, or for some people, maybe even shut it down entirely so that your brain can't hear what your body's trying to tell you, and then when it tries to, tries to send signals back down, your body doesn't know what to do with those. Um, or, you know, it's kind of, again, it's a loop. It's not one or the other. Not surprisingly, I firmly believe that you can reawaken this, you can improve at any time and at any age, and the better you are, the stronger, the more flexible, the better balance you have, um, that's going to help as you get older to hopefully eliminate or at least dramatically reduce the chances that what might happen to you or someone you love is what happened to my father and other people who had the same thing happen to them. 
So the Slack block, I think, is one of those tools that can help reawaken that loop to send those right signals so that it improves your strength in your uh, feet, in your ankles, in your legs, and the feedback loop from your brain into your body. What happens is, um, again, a piece of foam, something you stand on, and when you stand on it, it's really unstable. And trying to stay stable is what taxes your body and your brain. And the more you do it, the better you get. It's a virtuous cycle. So it's called the slack block uh, because it's sort of like standing on a slack line, which you might have seen, you know, a piece of webbing about that thick. And people stand on it, they walk on it, they do tricks on it. It's an amazing thing. And the company that makes the slack block also makes slack line products, including one called the slack bow, which is an, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Indoor. There you go, an indoor portable slack line device. So this thing, um, the first time I used it, my arches just lit up. I could feel how much my foot, the intrinsic muscles of my foot were working. I could feel it in my ankles. I could feel it all the way into my glutes. One thing I noticed that was incredible, I'm a sprinter, as some of you might know, and typically after a 100 meter race, for the next couple days, my feet and ankles are shot. I had a race on Thursday, and the day after, and the day after, and the day after, totally, totally fine. So uh, let's just cut to the chase. Let me show you how this works so you can see how you can use it as well. Here we go. Using the slack block is pretty straightforward. You're going to stand on it with one foot, you're going to bend your knee, you're going to bend your hip a little bit so you're in an athletic posture, and you're just going to lift up your foot and balance. Now, I know this looks like it's no big deal when I'm on it, but that's because I'm really good at it. When you first start, you're going to be like all over the place, and in fact, what you're going to want to do is have something nearby, a chair or a wall that you can grab. I mean, obviously, you can just put your foot down, but you want to do something so that you can maintain your balance. And the idea is that you just do this for like two minutes on one foot, and I can assure you that when you get to the, like, even if you're really good, you're going to get to the minute and a half point, and your foot is going to be on fire. It is going to be working hard. You'll feel it in your ankle, you'll feel it in your leg, you'll feel it in your glutes, um, and then after you do two minutes, you're going to switch and do the other foot. So there's three positions that you'll try this in. The first is parallel, just your foot on the way I'm just described showing right here. The next is a little angled. You're going to turn so that your two first toes are on the block and half your heel is off the block. This changes, gives you a little rotational balance thing as well. And then the third, the one that's really challenging, is you're going to go perpendicular. So again, athletic position and just lift up your foot. Oh, there we go. Yikes! And again, you want to just do two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. By the way, this thing of talking while you're doing it, it's really challenging. So, um, here we go. I want to do one last thing. The guy who owns a slack bow, Jim, he hates when I do this because the exercise I'm, exercise I'm about to show you isn't really valuable for anything, but it's kind of showing off, so I like to do it. So here we go. Hold on. Ah. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so, again, as I told you, we're competing to use this thing. In the office, um, everybody wants it. We're having contests all the time. I highly, highly recommend it. You can pick one up if you go to zeroshoes.com slash likes slash balance and pick one up for yourself or for anyone else that you love who you know could use improved foot, ankle, hip, leg strength, and balance. I can't wait to hear what happens as you experience the benefits of using the Slack block. And of course, as always, go out and have fun. Feel the freedom, feel the fun, and feel the world.